Survey Pro's GeoLock function enables the instrument to quickly locate the target. Within one keystroke, the Focus 30 rotates automatically and locks onto the prism. Using the data collector's internal GPS receiver, Survey Pro tracks the rod's position and tells the Focus 30 where to turn in order to find the prism. To use GeoLock, navigate to the Remote Control or Remote Shot screen on the Ranger 3. Pressing the Star button on the Ranger 3 will directly take you there. Simply tap the GeoLock button to initiate a GeoLock search. Survey Pro informs the operator that a GeoLock search is being performed. GeoLock automatically calibrates itself using the calculated positions of the data collector's GPS and the Focus 30's EDM. As the Rodman moves and the instrument tracks his movements, a string of point pairs based on the GPS and EDM positions is created. Survey Pro continuously adds these to the automatic GeoLock calibration, thus strengthening the GeoLock solution. It's important to have a good sample of total station and GPS points to pair together. Those point pairs with wide angular separations from the instrument's perspective will produce more accurate results. GeoLock is designed to work at ranges of 50 meters or more, so point pairs that are near the instrument are not as useful as point pairs that are further away. Note, make sure that the data collector has a clear view of the sky. Sky blockage and reflective objects will affect GPS accuracy and restrict GeoLock performance. Before GeoLock will begin to calibrate, a backsight setup is required. GeoLock configuration is only required the first time that it's used. For configuration, tap the GeoLock button in the Manage Instruments menu. Here, you'll be able to either enable or disable GeoLock. It's recommended only using 3D mode when working in very steep terrain. All other times, only 2D positions are needed. Select NEMA GPS from the Job Settings drop-down menu. Turn on the Data Collector's GPS. Select the Model and Port Parameters as shown. Tap Shared GPS. It's recommended leaving Enable Assisted GPS deselected as shown. Allow Windows Mobile to manage GPS automatically. Next, set the Data Collector's GPS program port to COM1. Set the GPS hardware port to COM2 with a baud rate of 9600. Refer to this icon at the top of the remote shot or remote control menus to check GeoLock status. A yellow icon with a question mark means that GeoLock is configured but not yet calibrated. This is accompanied by a grayed out GeoLock button. A gray icon means that GeoLock is turned off. A red icon means that GeoLock is not properly configured. Check settings. A green icon indicates that the one-time configuration is complete and GeoLock is ready. Notice the active GeoLock button. Quickly regain lock with your instrument using GeoLock on your Spectra Precision Data Collector.